and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a mechanized benefactor deck. We're going to be playing a victor deck built around creating cards and getting some cool wins with some elusive. So let's see what we got going on. So we're going to have, so like as far as our name goes, we got mechanized mimic and eminent benefactor. That's kind of what, like those are the two cards that our name is based around because what we want is we want to have eminent benefactor in play it has last breath create in hand an epic card from your regions which you know sounds pretty epic and then we're going to use gluttony kill an ally with last breath to summon a follower from your deck that costs one more so we're going to gluttony away the eminent benefactor and put mechanized mimic into play mechanized mimic of course will be able to it has augment it will be able to attack and get all the keywords on all the allies. Hopefully we have like a Victor with a bunch of keywords, or at least we'll have Nandroid in play with Elusive. And so therefore the Mimic can also get the Elusive like the Nandroid, so it can be a big Elusive. So that's kind of like what we're doing. We're going to have our Victor shell, you know, Victor, Ballistic Bont, make a bunch of created cards. We have a bunch of ways to rummage. We got our spells that, that we create also, how the bot and Victor create spells each round. We can use Rummage, Zonite Urchin, some Treasure, get some card advantage with those. We also have a Terrative Improvement to get some copies of stuff, because, you know, we want copies. Uh, got more card advantage with Glimpse Beyond. Got some interaction with Withering Will, Vengeance, Mystic Shot, Aftershock, Thermogenic Beam. It's a good amount of different interaction as well. Finally, we got an, another Last Breath Follower with Warden's Prey, where if we don't have the Eminent Benefactor, we can gluttony away Warden's Prey and put Ballistic Bot into play. It will always put Ballistic Bot into play. So that, that's another good use for gluttony, uh, get Ballistic Bot. And then, of course, Warden's Prey will create Last Breath Follower. So another created card for all of our cool augment stuff. So it sounds like a pretty fun one. Let's give it a try. We're just heading on over to normal. It's meme tier day. This is our last meme tier deck of the week until next Monday. Our next one, the Elise Azir, will be a ranked deck. All right, let's see what we got. We got Kindred Gnosis over there. Okay, so we're gonna start with Ballistic Bot. We got improvement for it, that's great. Um, I'm gonna keep Vengeance. We'll just mulligan the Gluttony. We don't need to keep it in our opener. Or, you know, we'll keep it, whatever. Um, but we'll have uh, Vengeance for both these champions. They cost five and six mana and are awesome. Hey, Storm. Perfection. The Undying. Alright, double Ballistic Bot. Start going crazy with these. Then a Victor. Ugh. If I play Victor, I can't play any created cards this turn. So the debate is play Other Ignition or maybe play the Sump Treasure. I kind of like playing Other Ignition. Just because, you know, I want to level up this Victor, right? So I want to play as many created cards as possible, level up Victor. And then I kind of want to save two spell mana for future turns. I don't want them to put the bl this ballistic bot down to one health with and have another vile feast. So we're at three because we can play three more creative cards this turn, or we just play a vengeance. Um, yeah, I got a vengeance. Good vengeance. Can you improve perfection? 
Victor! Definitely gotta play this Warden's Prey just to be able to block one of these Undyings. Try gluttoning the Warren's prey. <clears throat> cool. We're going ballistic. We are going ballistic. Thorny Toad's a good thing for the kindred to mark. All right, we're going ballistic. They already marked one thing. They don't get to mark another. Could have like five ballistic bots in play this turn. <laughs> Open aftershock wins. So we know they have another champion in hand. It could be it's or actually we know they have two champions in hand. They played three of the grab champion cards. So they have two champions in hand. So if one of them's like the kindred champion spell, you know, kindred champion spell does kill that. But um if I attack out, they kind of have to block with kindred, but if they so probably killing the kindred at the very least. Down to five. And we'll have Aftershock, Triple Ignition. So that worked out pretty well for me. We need more Ballistic Bots first. Never enough Ballistic Bots. We could even have more. I should have named this deck, like, you know, going ballistic or something. Because we have our own ballistic bot, we have a iterative improvement for ballistic bot, and then we even gluttonied and got a ballistic bot into play with that. Dang, we were going to have like six ballistic bots. But opponent died. Ooh, Jarvan? Renekton Jarvan. So probably going to be having a lot of vulnerable stuff because they want to give uh, Jarvan Challenger. Definitely don't want Withering Whale, but the rest of these are just fine. It's not, you know, all Ballistic Bots, but it could be fine. Channel Point Predictions available. First time I challenge an enemy, give me barrier this round. We protect these woods as they protect us. I'm worried about them having exhaust. Give that thing barrier. I'm worried about that. Boy. 
Redemption. Rebirth me. Join the glorious evolution. Evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. Definitely playing the Hex 4 upgrade, of course. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. Analyzing a probe. Spell shield. That's good against, you know, exhaust, the one mana vulnerable. Can't just exhaust the victor. That's good, that's good. A little surprised they didn't just attack with the 4 2 first. So this mean I'm losing Victor. Like, I'm even losing, like, the other Victor there. Cycle these away. Eminent benefactor. I have been sent by the but we did kill Renekton. We got rid of a Renekton's Ruthless Predator also, right? We got rid of two of those things? Nah, just regular Ruthless Predator. Lame. Alright, let's attack in. Obviously, 4-3 for 3-2. Three, three, not the best stats wide yeah, trade. Yeah. But that's fine. Welcome to my humble estate. Keep them from having the scout attack with Jarvan. So we do have the combo to put Mechanized Mimic into play, but we don't really have... <laughs> anything to do with Mechanized Mimic. Um, I'll just do this. Alright, let's see what epic card we got. Jay Madarda! What's up, Jay Madarda? I'm doing this first because it's a... I guess I should probably just do this during combat. I was doing it because it's a creative card for the augment. I guess I could attack and then just do this during combat. Yep, that's why That's why you should attack and do that during combat. Because we would have gave the Mimic... We gave the Mimic um, Elusive. Times will change, but Demacia must endure. Considering casting the Thermogenic Beam on the Jade Medarda to draw a card, do we do we need it that bad for a removal spell? Like I'm playing the Vengeance the next turn. So basically, would I would I rather just like would I rather just have a random card in my deck than the Thermogenic Beam? I think so. Because I want I want to get towards like my Victor and stuff like that. Discover the unknown. Ready to try, father. Wow. They gave up. They gave up. I was going to play my... Or no, I guess I had to... No, I couldn't play anything because I need to keep Vengeance available. So I was just going to pass because I had 9 mana. So I think what happened right there was my opponent wanted to attack and put Jarvan into play attacking. But just had like a, a little brain fart and accidentally just cast the Jarvan, and then they were sad about it and conceded. That's what I think happened. Well, I'm gonna keep my Victor Bot combo, Thermogenic Beam to try to slow these things down. Witness perfection, meat bags. Can you improve 
action. Progress. You know what? I'm gonna do this. Whoa, we got a brand new tier one sub. Nostalgia. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Show some love for our new sub. Thank you so much for that support. I appreciate that. Okay, so I think this is what, what they got for the... I think they got this off the Stalking Shadows. So I think they have an ephemeral copy of that 5-3 also. I think, I think. Okay, that just passed to me. I have to be worried about... I don't think I can play Victor this turn. I think I have to, I have to be worried about Diana. It's always a card to be worried about. But I don't want to pass and allow them to end the turn. Alright, so they're going Doom Beast. So I have the ability to get Victor in play. All right, new keyword. Fearsome. Gross. Man, triple stalking shadows. Their hand is filled. Yeah, their hand is filled. I like that draw. Cold and unforgiving as moonlight. It tried to blind me with Now I don't have the regen beam available anymore. So that's gonna kill Victor. That was a good draw. No, but they went burst speed. Couldn't stop that thing at burst speed. I was hoping that they would just, you know, like play another Doom Beast or something, give me priority again. So, sorry, Victor. I like this golden monkey. Chosen of the moon. Another Diana. I, I think I vengeance the other Diana next turn. Unseen, unheard, the moon conceals you from our foes. Once I stand papers, now faces. So basically this turn I'll be playing like Vengeance and Rummage, just like rummaging away these ignitions. Really? Why? Like why the Ballistic Block? Because it's ephemeral, like you won't even get... Like, that's not even... Why? Android. I 
I don't think I'd block with an android and let them pill cascade and kill my android. Definitely glad no Bastion. Still only at three. Speaking of Pill Cascade. Basically, I'm I'm just trying to think of like if they're gonna have Ruination. Or, like, are they gonna play Ruination? I think I'm going to be leveling up Victor this turn. That's my plan, at least. So they'll start costing zero next turn. This is six. I have to play the Spectre for the seventh to level up, or I guess I could wait till next turn and stop. Diana's so good. Why do you have to have all three of them? Alright, I'm not leveling up, Victor. Also, I could just discard the Benefactor. I don't know if I'll have time to cast Benefactor. Alright, well they're out of Dianas. So it's either a Nocturne or a Nephelios. So if it's a Nocturne... We in trouble. Which it is, of course. So now their their nocturne is level up. So whenever they play a unit, it gives all my enemies minus one, minus zero. Um, and of course, all their stuff's gonna have fearsome also. A couple of things that are pretty big problems. Definitely be Pell Cascade. And I'll just let this happen. Because I I'm absolutely expecting Pell Cascade. I think there's a hundred percent chance they have it. But they may not okay, they didn't play it. Well so Withering Will would have killed the Eclipse Dragon if I would have played Withering Will right there. Exalt me like the god I am now. All right, let's let's go with the ephemerals, or sorry, the elusives. <laughs> let's go with the elusives. One one damage short from lethal. Oh wait, no, because they have the minus one. Ooh, that is sixteen. All right, let's try. Hopefully no Hush, no Vile Feast, no Moonlight Affliction. Eclipse Dragon created Enviolus Vox, which creates White Flame Protector. And the cycle just never ends. So I could go, I could go, you know, I could get my own Traveler, which Eclipse Dragon also created the Traveler. Dang. Eclipse Dragon busted. That's, that's like a, that's an amazing Eclipse Dragon, the Traveler and Enviolus Vox. Um, both those would be pretty good. I, I think I may just take my own Enviolus Vox. But the thing is, is if I get an Enviolus Vox, they just kill it with Diana. Welcome to my humble estate. I 
Augment, not the best keyword against uh, against Hush and Yellow or Moonlight Affliction, anything like that. Like those cards, definitely awesome against our kind of deck. Yeah, like why why are you playing that card? Like they had such better cards to copy then. One mana short. I know Victor would have made like those things cost less, but I never really want to have Victor in play yet. The full moon the soul. Pretty dead. I don't have any fast speed cards that saves me, do, do I? I guess I could check the deck list. Mystic Shot? Nope. Mystic Shot would be it. That doesn't save me. Diana's heck of a card. Yeah, that card's so good, but... Diana and Eclipse Dragon. That Eclipse Dragon was insane. That was deep. Ooh, Twisted Heimerdinger. That's pretty cool. I'm glad, like, we're going to be pretty weak against Targon. Whenever whenever you're playing the Attune, you know, when they have Hush and Moonlight Affliction, that kind of stuff, you're going to be a little weak against that kind of stuff. So I'm glad we're not facing that. Let's keep one with... I'm just keeping one Withering Whale for, like, Heimerdinger making a bunch of turrets. But there we go. You know, I wanted to kind of start off with, like, this other type of stuff. Stick shot through the heart. Do, do, do. I think I'm trying to set up Twist of Fate red card. That'd be my guess. I, don't have, I guess they could have Jury Rig. They did have Jury Rig. Oh, I shouldn't attack with the bot. It was Jury Rig. Gross. So we have the same amount of cards in hand, but I got two things in play. I'm not doing too bad. Alright, they lose a lot more mana than I do. Without pass. I thought I started the prediction for this one. Sorry, I guess I just ended the other one. What do you have? Fury? Hmm. So I'm casting the, the death right here to get the MK... You know, I'm casting the MK1 on this to get the MK2 in the top three cards of our deck. If we're very lucky, the MK2 will be the top card. Another MK1. Ah, <laughs> oh, where's that MK2? They probably pass. 
I should probably cast Withering Whale or something. Okay, good. Our Twisted Fate red card is going to be looking pretty nice. Okay, so that was the created victor. <laughs> it wasn't the created victor's death ray. Because yeah, whenever we cast the champion spell, we we create not only the death ray but then also another victor into the in the deck. Sure. I mean, <laughs> yeah, because I mean we just. Kill that 1-1 one, one also, but then, yeah, the other 1-1 one, one they get to play afterwards, but... Alright, cool. Yeah, they definitely should have saved the jury rig for a surprise block with my 1 health things. Is our deck where we got one more game with this deck? And we will start the prediction here. You can bet whether we'll win or lose. So we're basically a victor... A, a victor, um, create stuff deck. And we have Eminent Benefactor and Gluttony and Mechanized Mimic to grab from the Gluttony. Thresh, Gnosis. All right, you're gone, you're gone, and I'll keep you two. That's what our deck's about. It's We got three, um, three of the one three elusive with Augment. We got a lot of Augment stuff. And then three Mechanized Mimic. No. Destiny's Call, 8 mana burst spell, grants an ally in hand, plus 8, plus 8. Okay, so using that with Heimer to give like a 0 mana turret, plus 8, plus 8, and then also getting an additional 8, 8 turret. Yeah, that could be pretty cool. That sounds intriguing. So I'll play the Sump Treasure. I'll just play some treasure to like block one of these things. Good rock hopper. Now I can't really play Victor next turn because of the rock hopper. Good rock hopper. We can also gluttony away. Warden's Prey to put more Ballistic Bots into play. We have done that. Make our deck very Ballistic Bot heavy. Um, I kind of want to go Interrative Improvement put another Ballistic Bot into play. Right now. Sure. One size that papers now faces. So Thresh would be kind of mean. Um, I'll play the Nandroid. I could see them being... I could see them like having Thresh challenge the Nandroid. Yeah, or they challenge the Nandroid here. Which I would much rather them challenge an android than challenge Ballistic Bot. Right, like I like Ballistic Bot a lot more. But good thing I played that instead of playing Victor, right? They would have killed Victor. Alright, and I'll wait till next turn. So I get the augment on Victor. Hmm, that's probably not worth it actually. Can you improve perfection? Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, great maker. Mm. System upgrade. Is a keyword like remove vulnerable? Is that a keyword? Regen. Where 
got four out of seven. If I cast all three of these, if I spent th three mana on all three of those, we'll level up Jesus. Victor. That's ah, probably that's probably not worth vengeance. That thing. I am planning on leveling up Victor this turn, but though, but we got this other Victor in, in hand, so I'll let them do some stuff first. And of course, I'm I'm not playing this hex core upgrade. We'll play the other the next hex core upgrade. Y'all think they're a Ruination deck? Join the glorious evolution. The flashbacks will bow, break maker. I'll take Spell Shield. Why can't I play this? It costs zero mana. I guess you have to have the other victor in play just to cast it. Spell shield. I of course can play like Mechanize Mimic and Android, but I'm giving them a little bit of time. <clears throat> okay. Well, I got a zero cost card out of my hand. All right, so most likely no ruination for them. Most likely. Now we'll go Nandroid. Exalt me like the god I am. Meow. Meow. Mimic? No, not mimic yet. So another bot. They can't have quicksand for the Nandroid, that would be sad. But I don't think I just don't attack because of quicksand. I think I still attack. Hooray. Can you improve <laughs> yeah, this deck definitely goes ballistic. Because we can remember we can gluttony a warden's prey and get another ballistic bot in play. But I will just wait. They kind of seem like they're up to something. You know, I'd, I want to still have other stuff in case of... Um, in case of Ruination. More create stuff. So Mentor of the Stones is a created card that will trigger the augments. <clears throat> I'll play it to grow the health of this Nandroid so it doesn't just have one health. It does have Last Breath, so if I Gluttony it, we get, what, Eminent Benefactor in play? Yeah, so I can Gluttony it and grab Eminent Benefactor. Okay, so they are... They are hurting. Why is nothing blocking the Mentor of the Stones? I guess they don't want to give me shards? But I already have, like, all these other things. If it's made of sand, I can it looks like that's going to be game. 
And it is. So, ballistic bots going ballistic. And that's all. Nice 4 1 for the eminent benefactor. Mechanized benefactor. Okay, so yeah, we got to see our. I, I like the elusive finish, right? Because basically, with this kind of deck, like we've seen, Ballistic Bot is really powerful. Ballistic Bot Victor, very powerful. Um, but finishing games can be difficult. Now, we had a couple of opponents kind of quit a little early. But still, I was saying, like, with these kind of decks, finishing games can be difficult. And Nandroid plus Mechanized Mimic with the elusives, they did a good job of just closing the games out, you know, hitting them for 10, um, you know, in the late game. And just finishing finishing that out um, after all of those ignitions forever. Um, so yeah, I like I think that was a pretty cool little combo there. Um, we did get to do some good stuff with Eminent Benefactor too. We got to gluttony that once. We also got to gluttony a Warden's Prey for an extra Ballistic Bot once, which was pretty nice. Um, so yeah, the the Elusives did a good job at finishing out games like they do. All right, so that was Mechanized Benefactor. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I always love seeing those. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this little combo deck here. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully you like casting Ignition. Because <laughs> if you like casting Ignition, like augmenting, that's what we got going on. Um, anyway, that's it here for Mechanized Benefactor. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.